Hello everyone, this is Zucker here, and today I'm going to be exposing one of my most OP money making methods that I found a few months back, and also going to be showing how to do it. Last time that I've calculated it, it was around 100 to 200 mil profit per hour, but I'm going to have to calculate that all over again since it has been months. But yeah, I'm going to be showing a demonstration of me doing it, also showing how to do it, and it's so simple. Like, you could literally start playing the game in the first week and start doing this man so yeah let's get right into it there we finally did it it's maxed yoinking that thank you very much so these are clips that i recorded about two months ago this was while i was streaming and also technically grinding the method and then you might be questioning what the hell are you doing doing m2s well that's because i was maxing out my collection but yet that's also the floor that made me 200 million coins and no not 200 million coins within the whole entire boss collection but per hour now you might be questioning why the hell did i have about seven reaper sides within my inventory at the time. An even better question, why the heck do I have over a hundred reaper sides in my storage while grinding these M2 runs? So let's assume that you're a brand new player. What do you need before starting this method? Well first things first, you're gonna need combat levels. Obviously we're doing dungeons. So you're gonna want to grind combat levels and a good way of doing that would probably be doing these crit ghouls over here and uh, just killing these guys give quite a bit of combat XP. And then once you're done with doing these, it's better to start killing these Endermen for combat XP and then them moving on towards Zealot Bruisers over here whenever you unlock combat 22. If you are really sweaty, this could be done within the first or the second day of starting a profile. Now once you unlock dungeons, you are pretty much want to invest into a dungeon setup and uh, this is the stuff you're going to want. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is get yourself through fourth Necromancy Lord armor right here. You're going to want to have a Reaper mask. You're going to want to have a summoning ring you're gonna want to have a few reaper sides just so you can uh, do this money making method uh you do not need a terminator this could be replaced with a juju with soul leader 5 and then aspect of the void for teleportation for pet you are going to want to use ghoul pet you're also going to want to use dwarf turtle summit so you don't get knocked back come to this area assuming that you have talismans and then fine tune all your tuning points into speed so right here and then Put whatever is best for your uh, archer damage for me would be scorching if you're starting off and you don't have that much uh crit chance i'd use fortuitous to increase your archer damage you're probably just gonna want to buy these dungeon potions right over here uh you can also just make archery potions which are technically better but it kind of takes time to brew them and this is just the easier way of doing it once that's done you should be able to simply go into floor threes or master mode threes and i did it in master mode two but it's technically better in master mode three another thing that i'm gonna explain is that i am going archer if you are lacking survivability you could also do pet swapping to go from a tanky pet going towards ghoul pet or you could also just armor swap you could also just wear some different type of armor so for example i wanted to use my gold or armor i could use this armor and then swap it out to this armor once i drop a soul uh but yeah you need the summoning ring to drop souls with any weapon that you're holding so let me just show you so for example there's a tank zombie right here this is what you want to kill as you can see it dropped its soul and what you want to do is go wacko and just kill a bunch of these tank zombies and it's pretty much like blood rushing you want to blood rush and then like there we go you just got a second one so you just want to blood rush collect these souls and then that's pretty much the method it's so simple and you can do this off the start as a beginner player which is awesome like you just need a little bit of cat xp just a little bit of combat levels maybe a little bit of survivability thrown on there and bam so i'm gonna be doing this for 30 minutes seeing how many souls i get maybe minus these two souls uh, actually I might need more reaper sides uh, maybe do a 15 minute test I have a big feeling like I'm gonna fill these all completely with 30 minutes uh, yeah
So as you guys can see I finally finished my 15 minutes of grinding and it seems that I was right. So out of all these five reaper sides I've completely filled them all up and uh, I did technically grinded like a few extra seconds to just get one more soul since I had four of them filled up and then one with nine souls because I can hold ten of them on one site. So yeah and we started off with three extra inside of the first uh, scythe for the demonstrations from earlier so uh, that means we minus four souls from that and that makes it a total of 40 so it's a total of 46 souls because we got 50 souls from all of these minus four. So so yeah let's calculate how much that is so let's just say in perspective that you were to just buy them off of auction just clean reaper sides and then put them back up on auction with the souls on it. and by the way uh, the best time to sell them is during Aatrox and my buddy Aatrox is right here with me right now so um, yeah you guys I, I, at the time of posting this video there's probably gonna be like two and a half days left so yeah might be a good time to start grinding them right now or you can prepare for next Aatrox you can also sell them whenever it's not Aatrox but they do sell a little bit lower uh, a little bit slower but the reason for these is for void gloom players that want to summon tank zombies and the reason for having 10 on this is because if they have a skill issue which lots of skyblock players have skill issues if a summon dies they still have nine more than eight more then seven more and then they have seven summons that can die until that they need to buy a new one so this is the reason why people buy them with 10 tank souls on so let's say i bought them for 29 mil maybe nah never mind let's just say 30 mil let's pull up the handy calculator over here so you got 30 million and it seems like people sell eight tank souls on one scythe for about 40 million i'm gonna undercut that with 10 tank souls because we want them to sell faster and this guy has ultimate wise on it i don't have ultimate wise so i'm just gonna put it for cheaper so let's put them up for uh 30 i'll put it for 39 mil and uh well that's selling right now let's say that i was to sell them for 39 million coins and made about eight nine mil coins profit and then let's say that's eight million coins profit due to taxes because auction taxes are auction taxes times that by five i made around 40 million coins in 15 minutes times that by four that is around 160 million coins i am pretty rusty not gonna lie i'm pretty rusty after like it's been months and i I was grinding that two months ago and I used to do it a lot now <laughs> this is the first time I've done it after two months but yeah it could potentially be better uh, but I also know how to blood rush properly and all that stuff so if you don't know how to blood rush properly then uh, you might be making less but if you do learn how to blood rush properly um, also maxing out your speed I have equipment with speed attributes on it it's not necessary but working up for speed is also going to improve your rates and if you have a racing helmet it's even better though at the same time time you'd have to swap your helmet all the time so I don't know but yeah it's it's decent in total I've probably sold around 300 reaper side in the past and this was specifically like two months ago whenever I used to actually grind this a lot so yeah I sold 300 reaper sides in total and made approximately over 3 billion coins uh, especially because I crafted the reaper sides myself and just crafting the reaper scythe actually was calculated around 60 million coins an hour just for crafting them uh so if you guys really want to optimize speed and all that stuff and just like craft them really quickly you could potentially just make like a buttload of money because it's like six to seven mil profit per and if you manage to sell like if you manage to make 10 reaper sides in an hour it's insane how much money you can make Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys want to see more videos about money making methods and other uh, hidden things in the game that no one has ever really seen before, uh, don't forget to subscribe and I also have a giveaway happening in my discord server at the current moment that's in the description if you want to join. Catch you in the next video. Peace.